And no, don't do it! Don't <laughs> do it to me, Bulldog! I'd almost written it down already. Oh, Bulldog, no, don't just... do it to me, Bulldog! He's gonna lock it in. There we go. That's a big grin on his face as well. I think he could sense the groans from literally everyone watching him pick the victor. Dang. Let's hop onto the rip, ladies and gentlemen, and get into game one. And dodging these cues. You know, this is the kind of thing that Bulldog is famous for now. How has it led to wins? Um, because he hasn't been able to find much outside of the lane. Yeah. And that is important. However, we'll have to see. Because Victor, as we used to talk about, has a lot of DPS in the later stages of the game. But Look it just that. hasn't been something that we've uh, been able to talk about because he hasn't been able to have the space to make it work. As, yeah, we got eight losses in a row for the Syndra. Notice the players, though. Two of them being BDD. Yeah. But a lot of the weaker teams here in the LCK are on this list. Fiesta playing it three times. A little bit cute. Got scared for a second. Indeed. Come but uh, Taking that Rift Scuttler, he'll be fine. And the Maokai going to move away. So you are free. To go about your point, Wolf. Yeah, it's not much longer, I promise, guys. That's no, no. totally fine. Arctic Assault there is uh, we're going to get a Bramble Smash to follow it up. Twisted Advance, Young Jig going to have to flash. Gets himself out of the way. Cuz going to clean up the popcorn chicken. Love that. Doesn't leave it on the floor. And now I think you'll be able to take it. Yeah. yeah, Young Jig going to be starting off this Drake as Doo Doo. Let's see how he's going to be able to do it. He uh, just dies. So uh, we hold on to the ult from Cuz as well. And uh, Keen's going to invest the flash to make sure that the gank is successful. So, the Renekton off to a great start. Let's get shielded up by the Whimsy. And Cuz just not quite fast enough. He's on a steed and everything, but it's not quite going to work out. <laughs> I like that, the steed. Yeah, maybe it, it is a boar. So, less, uh, it's, it's a lot more beefy and a lot more powerful, but maybe a bit slower. Well, this is going to turn around at least the story of the plate gold a little bit for the bottom duo here of KT Rolster. They're going to get this crash through of the Herald as the game goes on is Keen. All right, we're going for an ult. We're bringing the Crocodile away. Dominant's going to be popped here as in goes Young Jay, flashing forward, and Dudu gets his revenge. Everything has been equalized. Young Jay looking for Drake number two. But Vinny is making his way over. He's got a cat. As here is the Nature's Grasp aiming. Does have the Spell Shield to stop that one, but it is going to be secured. It's in fact Jun that locks that one down. As now the final chapter is going to get decent snares. Ayun going down exceptionally low, aiming with the ricochets, tearing them apart, but he's not able to lock down the kills. Tayun going to have to get out of there, and finally the kill will come in. BDD collects that one as Dudu's over the wall. Keen looks to stun him up, gets out of the way of the final Q now, and Kulvameek should be available if he decides to dive. There it is. And that is the solo kill for Keen. A little bit of an overreach there for Dudu. And then on the top side, Keen actually starts this off. Dudu thinks he can force this. Holds him through the wall, and then he dodges the Q3. Good flash. Watch this dodge. And full fury on the call to meet there as well. And I think this is the point where you're like, but he'll probably have that one back. And this is, this is when it gets really egregious, unfortunately, yeah. where you actually chase further. Ugh. Yep. See how this one's going to go. Arctic Assault onto Jun. He's going to wild growth himself, but doesn't get a lot of value out of it. As Dudu tries to move Shirley out of the way. Oh, here's the final chapter. Starting to stack up this CC, but Quantum Freaks, they've got so many more members in the area. And Dudu is going to really tell me to shut up, Wolf. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Able but to set up that fight. This is one of those first few fights where you could see with a numbers advantage here, and even without wild growth, the team. All right, in they go. There's a twisted advance to start it up. Nature's Grass coming through. Cuz, pretty tanky though, and isn't exactly the priority target. Final chapter to try and defend the Sejuani, who does make it out of the Chaos Storm for now. Great stun onto Dudu, but the wild growth is going to be there. And Taeyun, you cannot stand in front of BDD. He will hit you with a whole bunch of abilities and still has the R button left available. There's the exhaust, the flash forward, and the answer with the ultimate from Taeyun. They managed to rip Keen apart. Just an overstep. The rest of the team were not on the same page. Definitely not on the same page. BDD could have followed up if oh he was Oh my looking. goodness, that scatter was massive, and now Taeyun's taking damage, but aiming goes down low as well. They are just setting up the Phalanx, man. It's Kwandong Freaks, the spot. Yeah. They have the final chapter, but it gets basically zero value. Young is going to lock down Soul Point and Kwandong Freaks. Can you make it out? Another scatter is fantastic, but is anyone going to die? 
Bulldog like, doing so happening? much damage to Keen in the front line. He just can't chase. He cannot chase, and the heist is a success. Quantum Freaks realize aiming is on the left side of the pit. Are like, okay, we can actually push this through. We can take the Drake, and by the time Amy gets here, yes, he's going to be full health, but we'll have done enough damage to the front line that he actually won't be able to walk up. They take the Drake. They take a turret. The wind con so well. Team. Well, that's a final chapter. Cuz making his way over. Glacial Prison available, but not used right now. As Keen's going to create a doorway. And Dudu has his ultimate available. This Chaos Storm doing a whole lot of work as aiming, getting the auto attack. Finally, we see the Cinder do an ultimate, but this is exactly what we were talking about. Taeyun can now pop off, and aiming's going to go down for the triple. Cuz maybe giving a quadra. There it is with the Extendo Beam. Kwandong freaks. They'll go over to the Baron. I'm well, I hope they at least try to stop this Elder from going down. Because watching the enemy team take it will lose you the game. That's Exodia right there. Decent scatter is going to come through. Is now Dudu taking control of Cuz. He's very tanky, but Bulldog is keeping everybody else locked down. And yeah, Cuz is there to be tanky, but it just does not work out. And now Dudu can do what he wants. He finds the Q. The final chapter comes down, and this could be a Penta. We've got a Quadra already, and there it is! Penta kill for Tayun as they run down the mid lane and pick up game one versus KT. Second win of the season here, game wise for Kwangdong Freaks, a one sided affair. Amazing mid game team fighting, and BDD just could not find his targets. Extraordinarily strong AoE CC available as well. This is a game that Victor makes sense in. This is a draft where Victor makes sense in the comp. I know everyone's got their conclusion about whether Victor is terrible or not, but Bulldog played it well in a draft that scales against a comp that doesn't snowball well, so he doesn't get punished. There's no Aurelia in this game to chase him down. And he had so much free reign. So many options. Yeah. You, they already know what they're playing. Oh, he's oh, doing it! Tristana, yes! <laughs> okay! Weirdly enough, one of the best laners right now in terms of early game and pushing advantages like, in a few years, he could be Chovy, right? Um, if, if he continues to grow very quickly. And you've given Bulldog the opportunity to say, what's your answer to Kastanin to actually lane early when Kastanin is at its weakest? He says, I'm going to all in with Tristana. And we're going to win the game early. Got Wukong to help me out. Very interested to see whether the Trist debut is going to work here. So we jump onto the Rift for game two. And he can do it because look at this. Like, BDD taking so much damage. Perma Pro. Uh, explosive charge, yeah. He, um, he might all in him here in a second if BDD does not respect. He has not used his dematerializers yet. He just has to back off. How many plates does Bulldog get uh, without Rift Herald in this game? I'd I think say at three. least at least two. Well, BDD is in a lot of trouble. Cuz is moving on in, but the flash does come out. There's the rocket jump, and he gets Goomba stomped. But he it's not Bulldog, it's it. Mario. Yeah, he just doesn't respect it, Atlas. I was like, does he all in? If BDD doesn't respect it, BDD says, I'm not going to respect it. He all ins. Guess what? Tristana can go over that wall without a flash. So yeah. You were never safe. You just wasted your flash. Tristana follows. She's got flash for a follow-up all in where you can't flash. You said flash a lot of times, Wolf, and all I saw was a dead BDD and a great start for this Tristana in the mid lane. Like, why not just ban Tristana? She seems way better as Lahens is going to come on over. There's the interruption as Bulldog may have to flash this time. He does so, but Permafrost is built up and BDD will get some revenge. So maybe that's why. The Tristana isn't picked up because three versus one, she's just not good enough. Yeah, and this is unfortunately, I think, a little bit on Young Jay here. Uh, not actually there to help out his teammate. He's down here to see if he can make something happen. He certainly is. Uh, piercing Arrow going to come through there. I believe W empowered. Was hoping he'd get out there. Really nice play from Lehens, though, with the room. Uh, there's that third play as Bulldog once again. Rocket jump. Gets himself to safety as Cuz. Arctic Assault onto Tayun, gets his flash actually, as that's a lot of damage onto the piggy. Throws out an ultimate just in solidarity. I like that, you know, gentlemen's agreement. It's like, well, you threw yours, I'll throw mine. Well, technically Wukong as well as Jun's flashing. KT looking for opportunities, and this is what the space was talking about, right? KT not really finding any avenues into this game, uh, into the last game and then sort of gave up even trying to look for it. And we can't see that happen from KT again as Bulldog's going in. He's looking for the hands right now, just ignoring BDD because he can. Buster shot was weird, but uh, that was because of the heal. Well, that's a whole turret. Meaning that the calculation wasn't going to work. And yeah, Rift Herald's going to go down. So my estimation of three plates was actually five. Um, 
So, uh, well, I think came on me, I guess. Well, I mean, I think you're you were still correct on how we got him in the early game, right? Uh, oh, cause. that's true. Unassisted. Is Young Jay gonna have to worry? A Trickster gets himself over his cuz is flashing. There's the flash, but he still gets hit. Oh, the heal's too good though. And now Young Jay's gonna get the double knockup. Bulldog is looking for even more. The resets are coming in, and Lance doesn't have heal this time. Press the attack is stacked, aiming. and now aiming is gonna try and answer this. Bulldog's pretty strong though, so he's gonna have to run. Not enough ricochets here, as now he might be able to close in. Not sure about that one there, Bulldog. Um, and so it was just a little bit. Uh, Bulldog was expecting wrong. that he wasn't going to be able to make it out. As now Lahent's going to take the high mid for a walk, but oh my goodness, the Sejuani's dead. Extraordinarily quickly. And we have to ask the question, we came out of a replay, but why is KT fighting? Oh, it's another fight against a Cassante near a turret. Uh, Dudu presses Counter-Strike and uh, sidesteps the Q pretty nicely. These minions are frustrating. What's this turnaround, Dudu? Leap Strike, is it going to be back up in time is the question. And the answer is no, we're just going to hit the turret. We'll get another plate. Crockery is the goal, and I respect it. Alahen's coming up here to try to punish, though. Okay, taking Jax for a walk this time around. Is aiming, throws out the boomerang, and oh, Counter-Strike yet again. This time it's not going to last long enough as Bulldog's looking for another turret. So. But it's going to be a while before he comes online here in this game, even with the kill he picked up earlier on. All right, Bulldog is looking for another target. The charge is uh, going to go off, but not exactly fully stacked or anything like that. So Sante going to that. Well, now Young is making his way in, and KT with four members, they can't dive to again because he has one friend. And maybe they'll turn it around because Bulldog's teleported in. He's finding free autos now, and he's shooting so fast with the rapid fire cannon. Enforced alcove gaming here for KT as Cuz is just limping away from this fight. BDD is going to die as an afterthought as the reset comes through. And Bulldog grabs the pickup. He's going to let his team take care of the rest of it as he's just jumping a billion times. God, I love this player one. I'm Quando so Freaks is so funny. good. So uh, here in the LCK, really felt like they did great things for DRX, and we've been saying this a lot as well. Um, but his timing for the tweet, which was just before this series, I don't think could have been uh, any better. Nope. So uh, definitely deserve a shout out. As Inhibitor goes down in the mid lane, and uh, the top lane should follow as well. Like, this is an absolute shellacking, and it's not even just. KT messed up and they didn't like they messed play, up the draft the thing so right. But they messed up the draft. They went straight into whatever Quantum Freaks wanted to do. But Quantum Freaks also had an amazing idea. They had this guy in the mid lane yep. willing to make this Tristana look completely busted in this matchup. As the explosive charge is continuing to just destroy these turrets. Kane getting a decent knockback, but. I mean, at this point, I think the minions are going to be too strong. Young Jay fighting against Kane, and the turrets are just falling. Tayun getting these autos down right into the back line goes Young Jay, but the Nexus is dead, and it's a 2 0 for Quandong Freaks. 20.7k damage over double that of uh, what BDD was able to put out, and the just an extraordinary performance and demonstration of why blind picking Cassidy is a rather rough uh, decision. To make. Thank you very much, guys. This is Jason for the PNG interview translation. We are here joined by Youngjae and Bulldog from Gwangdong Freaks. Congratulations. A very long-awaited first win of the season. How do you feel, Youngjae? Well, today, yeah, we were on a you know four-match losing streak. You know, we had a lot of lows. We were not actually having the best atmosphere, but I think today will be a huge turning point for us. To be completely honest, I was really like nervous, very nervous, but I'm so happy that I was able to lead my team to victory and it just feels amazing. I mean, yeah, speaking of losing streak, you know, it must have been very tough for you guys, but today you guys were able to step up so much and get this win. What did you have in mind today? I mean, our screams were pretty decent, but... Whenever we get to play in the LCK, we get extra oh, nervous, so we will do better, Nick. We will keep working hard.
네, 영재 선수 1세트에서 영재, in game number one. On Maokai, you are like initiating all the team fights, always there for your teammates. Are you happy with your performance in game one? No, we only got one match win, so we have a very long way to go. So today should be our turning point, and we will come back stronger from now on. What do you think was the best play on Maokai today? I think, like, BDD flashed after getting rooted by me, so I, that was pretty, you know, impressive. And we also had a pentakill by Kwangdong Freaks. How did Taehyun react to it? Taehyun was crying for the penta. And then, if we had like 10 wins already, I would have just stolen that, but we, this was our first win, so I was like, maybe next time, yeah, I'm just gonna let him take his penta today. In game number one, we had another victor, a champion that was on a five-game losing streak, and also Syndra was on a very long losing streak as well. Whoa, were you aware of it? Kind of. Why do you think they are struggling right now? Well, I think we are having a lot of skirmishes in the current meta. But Victor and Syndra, they require, you know, quite a longer time in order to do some work done early on. So their potential early on is pretty low. But Bulldog, you played six victors so far. Youngjae, do you still have faith in Victor itself? I mean, he's like strong in lane. You know, he's decent, so as long as you can play it correctly, it's still a good pick. So you went for Roa, and then, you know, another mana item, which is not that strong early on. Could you break down your item build for us? Well, I get tankier though, you know, with those two items. So I can kind of, you know, walk forward, be annoying, and like make opponents actually want to open team fight because I get to, you know, do some more work in the front line. In game two, we had Tristana mid unlocked. Was that something you prepped early on this season? I kind of tried it sometimes, but I had no idea that I was going to play that today, but it was fun. And Kenyon actually said Youngjae is a great and strong jungler. Were you happy to hear that? I mean, he was speaking of screams, I guess. But still, I'm so glad the best jungler actually gave me a praise. It feels great. However, your next opponent is Diplos Kia. You're going to be facing up against Kenyon. Thank you for calling me a Gosu. So I will show you some Gosu performance on that day and let's have fun. What about you, Bulldog? I hope we can replicate our performance today, you know, not feeling small, doing our own work. So we will be able to, you know, get a win if we do so, so we will keep working hard. And this will be the end of the interview from Youngjae Bulldog from Kwangdong Freaks and back to the space. Thank you.